Isn't it? Miss, miss, miss Mayhem. No? No, come on, please. Come on, man. Yo, I'm sorry. I mean, he jumped in. Okay, let me start this. Let me start a little intro. This is where she, I cut it off a little bit. She threw a bottle at the security guy because the security guy was laughing and she hit the wrong guy. Like, girl, you that close. Super duper dope chick right here. Yo, I'm sorry. I mean, he jumped in and hit that nigga because you sitting over here laughing because at the end of the day, it ain't your pussy. Let me tell you, I ain't talking to you. I ain't talking to him right here. I ain't talking to me. Then bat me in my shit then. Chap, she killing Chap. Bat me in my shit. Apologies, Chap. Bat me in my shit. I don't hit women, yo. They're all right. They're just fucking. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, we're family. He said, you all right. I ain't no fucking security, bitch. I don't give a fuck what you talking about. Chap, Chap, Chap. Bat me in my shit then. It's all good. Bat me in my shit then. Come on. Then shut the fuck up. Chill, 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 chill. Let's relax, chill, let's relax. All right, let's reset the room. Let's reset the it is what it is. Let's reset the room. It is what it is. Everybody cool, guys. Everybody cool. It is what it is. Brittany Renner. She is psycho. Like, this girl Whoa. goes down. At one point, I did feel sympathy a couple months ago because she would be like, yeah, I'm crying. I'm going to do the little, little, little Black China. You know, Black China did the same thing. So she, she progressed herself to God. And then and then you just revert back to the psycho-ass chick. So I don't know if this she is sounds her wrong. get attention. Yeah, she's, she's been drinking, but that's not an excuse because you threw a bottle this yeah. man. You told him to hit me, bat me on my whatever she said. Like, she's psycho. That girl looked like 110 pounds. That man she was talking to is a, a fighter. He was, right? He's an undefeated fighter. Used like, to be. Used to be. I don't care. Used to be. I see, I seen a picture of him. He's, he's, yeah, he, he used to be a heavyweight champion in the world. Who y'all talking like, about? He's 5'2", 30. Um, what's that name? Champ? They call, he called him Champ. Who y'all talking about? He an old, old heavyweight back in the day. But he was a boxer one time. He, that's what she yeah. did. Is it okay for her to get hit with the brick? Is it okay for her to get hit with a brick? <laughs> she looked too pretty. To be well, she did throw something at him. So, you know, Anton. She's but what, why did she? What, why did she throw it at him? I'm I have not like, seen I, the video. They were no, I saw the... talking and then they started laughing. So because oh, no. they started laughing, but she threw it at this the wrong guy. Daddy, Daddy got a forty-eight do... million dollar bag, no, right? Down That's here, the host, down here, the host yeah. asked her how she felt about PJ Washington getting that fifty-three million dollar contract, mm -hmm. and she started to answer it. She was like, "Oh, you know, I'm, he's my son's father. I'm happy that he gets what he's worth." And then she just went into this whole thing about how. She had to get her vagina sewed back up after having his baby, so that means she loved that mother. But like she, everybody, they weren't. They were laughing because it was awkward. Like they wasn't laughing like at her. They were laughing. They was like, "What? How did it she get?" Like, I had it sad. Pussy sewed up. Da, 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 da. Yeah. But men don't know sometimes like what like if a woman has a baby and it stretches her, it might tear her. So they're probably laughing like, "Whoa, you, she got stitches!" Like, and then she was like, "Stop laughing at me." Boom, water. Yeah. She went psycho, she like, drunk. girl. She was, yeah, if that was a dude acting like that in a room full of women, he would have lost his whole career the next morning. Yeah, exactly. She, the, 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 really, the dude she threw the water bottle at, if he was petty, he could have pressed charges just yeah. to be, you know what I mean? But yeah, she, they, like, and I saw coverage on that this weekend. Everybody was kind of trying to put it on the dudes. Like, they weren't giving her a platform to speak. They weren't what? letting her, they man, were laughing you, at her. I was like, what? You, like, to be in these YouTube streets, bro. Some of these panels, man, the man. guy should have been more suave. Yeah. If it was yep. the guy, it's the guy's fault. They were supposed to set the room. And one like, of them should have yeah. protected her. They should have protected her. You don't know what it's like to have a baby. I was like, dude, do ask her about the contract. But of, listen. Of the PJ. <laughs> I couldn't even watch the interview because before that, they weren't even talking about the contract. Let's just be honest. When that girl drinks, it's a whole different person. So it could have probably been a little set up from the two guys. I don't know their names, putting Charleston and Brittany and liquor. But she has to be accountable for her taking that liquor in. Right? She I, called them yeah. the B words. She said, hit me. She threw stuff, threw pretzels. And she, look, let me pull up this little clip. She knew this man, she knew Charleston is married and decided to give him a little lap dance and a dance. You have the luxury 
<laughs> of a persona, an online persona, a scapegoat. Whereas Miss Renner doesn't have the same luxury. She is who she is. <laughs> And uh, we're going to try to do this. <laughs> we're going to try to. <laughs> oh, let's, let's, Ladies let's, and gentlemen, we're in Miami right now. I need some music, baby. So, like, make that make sense. That man is married. And she knows that because she brought it up early in the interview. That So it's like, what's the excuse? They, they set her up. He talking about I need some music, baby. But it just seems <laughs> like, I mean, why y'all keep letting her just act a donkey? Like, she, I mean, what I they supposed to do? What are we supposed to do? Jessica, that's not a setup. She's a grown ass woman that got a child. That's not a setup. Right. Now it would be. I mean, why they spiked her drink? That's a it's, setup. It's my end. It's my end. Um, it was being yeah, my end. Like, she was. Um, I guess it was entertainment. One mic, y'all. We can hear. He was, she, like, he was. He was extending. She. He, she was extending his marriage. Is what she was doing. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, in that case, let it happen. Because I no, that's that. he's not. That's not what happened. Like so, I don't understand how that's a setup. I just don't know. No, get, I ain't I, no setup. She she got flew out there to do that interview. If you a woman, like what Anton nice. was saying earlier, what Anton was saying earlier about how women shouldn't be out a certain at, after a certain time or whatever. If you a woman, you by yourself, you a hundred some pounds, why would you fly out with, to a bunch of dudes you never met, get drunk around them, and do the interview? Like that's that's putting yourself in a vulnerable situation. Like I, the, you could have flew oh, out yeah, there. Like, Probably got like 10K to do that. So let me ask a question. When do girls, okay, I always thought when girls drink around you, they mean they like you. Am I wrong? No, you You're can wrong. drink. I've drank around okay. Anton. I don't like him like that. Like, well, you I'm, can still drink well, I understand that, but I'm just, okay, well, let me say, in some type of uh, comfortable, she's she's comfortable if she wants to drink. She got a problem though. No, she looked like she I got know. a problem. That's, and you can't blame imagine the being in a relationship with that. Nah, imagine. Imagine being in a relationship. You know how many dudes she probably put hands on, getting in oh. them drunk little episodes, coming home at three in the morning, cussing you out, throwing stuff at you. Like, come on, you. Th this ain't the first time she done wild out like that. That's it's just it. maybe the first viral time. I would say, I'm, go ahead, Carrie. I was just gonna say, I'm sure that before she came, they was probably like, just be prepared for anything. Once she left, they probably all started laughing and moved on with their day. I don't think I. I mean, the the way she's acting, they knew it was gonna be an interesting interview. Prepare for anything. Okay, but I'll do say this. I think that one, she's fully responsible. Not those guys or Charleston, because one. If we're saying it's a liquor, right? This not the this not the first incident where she acted like this. She did Anton's interview and was smooth and was all feminine and I'm trying to change. And then she does this shit and it's like, girl, you're psycho. Like you're crazy. And we can't say this is a setup because ain't no man made her force no liquor down her throat. She threw them water bottles, cursed those guys out. And like Charleston, if this was a guy, let's just say this: it, it was roles were reversed, and if it was a guy, look look at the little Suki shit that happened, right? And that girl, the, the next Osiris week, thing. This, yeah, the next week after, she's over there talking about dicks and I want to do this. I'm like, whoa, we just defended you, and you're doing all that. Like, make that make sense? Like, no. Do you think she'll change because everybody no. like laugh? You know, and gave it like fuel. It's gonna get worse. No, it's this is worse. paying her this bills. Her. This is taking care of her lifestyle. Like this is what she gonna be on another show. She'll probably be back with them next week. Like this is, this is what we we're sitting here discussing these videos. If if the if these women didn't do these things, what videos would we be discussing right now? Forget being her ex, being her child. Like being her child. Like that has to be. That's gonna she ain't be taking that far. Your underwear, you're showing your ass to men you never met. Like, that's crazy. Like, it is. You, you're not yeah. fun. That's why you're single. Cool. And I not only is that fun, not for nothing, she's already, 
She's not trying to be with none of these guys. That man is married. You're on a man yes, that's yes, married. Yes, yes, she, she was well, actually and on she's this already call. had her name. She's already had her name dragged through the mud. Like I've seen plenty of times where she's talking about how people talk about her in all types of ways anyway. So I think at some point in time, you you play the part. You numb yourself to it, so you think, and you play the part. I think she's just playing the part. She's clearly lost somewhere. No, she's the part. Of money. I saw her on a video today. She was in some bus talking about like what kind of dick she want, and the dick mm -hmm. has to do certain things for her to marry it, and that's what she looked for out of a relationship. Yep. Forget the man, she's just the dick just whatever it does okay i, I gotta imagine the way he comes inside of me and how he got just enough to hit the back wall and i was like and she probably got way more views than if she would have been up there meditating so right it's her show it but uh, anton i have a question what do you think about your super duper dope chick here well, what do i i don't have nothing to do with <laughs> been very quiet <laughs> I don't know what the question is. Cause that sounds a real one, nigga. That's his homie shit. Your <laughs> interview. I watched the interview. He's very loyal. No, because we need another. If y'all watch, if y'all watch the interview that he did with her when she was actually a total different person, she was civilized. She was feminine. She was. Oh, she might have had she probably one drinking. little drink. We, we yeah, she was drinking. Interview. We had a lot of drinks. Yeah, you should watch it. It's on the Patreon. I think it's on this channel also. So now that you see that, you call her super duper dope. And then you see her being a psychopath and throwing stuff at men, calling them out their names, right? And and flashing and her humping on Charleston White. Yeah. Hey, she that she do that a bouncy, bouncy thing on me. I'll give her some money. Shit. Let me, what do you think? That's, that's, that's the special I, uh, move. Can Anton I answer your question? I talked to several people. I just talked to, talk to Charleston. What? Yes. I don't care what you. I don't care what Charleston said. I want to know what Anton thinks about this it, situation. I think, I, well, from them, it's all just a big misunderstanding. No, I don't want to think. No, that's not what I asked you, Anton. What do you <laughs> think? I don't care what Brittany or Charleston thinks. What do you think about the super duper dope chick that you interviewed <clears throat> right behind you, and oh, now God. she's over there uh, throwing shit at people and cussing men out? That's three times her size. I'm I think that she's. Uh, I think that she's. Still, listen, I can't. I can't speak for other people's experiences with her. All I can I do is. I look, look, all I, I can do is. I'm, I'm. I'm speaking on it. Let me. Ask, let me answer the question. <laughs> all I can do is focus on what my personal experiences with her. What our conversations are on that's, the phone. Anton, that's not what I asked you. I don't care what you. You, you didn't let me finish. Go ahead. <laughs> Okay, so what I think is that, you know, I think that it's still, I think she's cool. I think she understands entertainment. I think she understands what get views and what, you know what I'm saying, get people riled up and so on and so forth. And I think that they, I think she she's, I think that she knows what she's doing. So you're so saying that she's on a show? Is that what you're saying? That she knew, because she's putting, she's a performer, like so she's putting on a performance. Is that what you're saying? I'm not so saying that she's doing like, anything. I just said, up, like I, I said, think, I think that she, I think that she just, you know, she, she, everything is authentic, but then at the same time, she knows that when she, when she gets in certain moods or when she's in a certain space or when she drinks certain things, that is going to bring certain things about of her, right? Mm -hmm. And so she allowed for that to happen. And so, you know, it is what it is. It went that way. So do you think, think her, how, how she was moving is okay? I mean, if you that's... You think it was the setup? Here, here, okay, so here, let me let me break it down like this. I don't know why y'all keep trying to change the stripes on a, G, on a zebra, right? Like, we, we, know, we know no, what we are going to get when we get it. So... If I interview somebody, my goal is not necessarily to get get a viral moment. I just want to keep them talking and I want to get them to authentically express how they feel, right? If I'm it's similar to the last conversation with the side chick, right? If I get into a conversation with a side chick, I know what the fuck I'm going to be getting with a side chick. I should not be trying to place her in a place of a wife, right? If right. you're dealing with a wife, you should know what you're getting with a, with a wife. If you're dealing with a bus down, you should know what you're getting with a bus down. And so... In that particular role, whatever that role is, I think that they doing what they supposed to do. Yes. 
Mm-hmm. I think no. Absolutely. 100%. If I'm interviewing a chick and I bring her onto my platform, I don't want no boring chick on my platform. Okay. I think that it's dope. I think she's playing a role and she's doing what she's supposed to do. Absolutely. Yeah. I think is she the, the head of the modern women of today? Yeah. I would I don't think that no woman is the head of the mo- of modern women. I think Why that um, I think that all of these chicks is is playing a role of what a modern woman is today. Cuz it's different types of women. Like I said, it's going to be wives, it's going to be it's going to be side chicks, it's going to be bust downs, it's going to be chicks that you should never even touch or even bring into your vicinity. I think all women is different. You can't put them all in the same category. I think their sentiment is the same. And certain men bring certain things out of them, but you need to be able to slot them appropriately. And most dudes don't know how to differentiate between the type of chick that's in that go in this category or the type of chick that go in that category. They can't figure that shit out. So I know who she is. I know what I'm going to get out of her when I deal with her, if I have a conversation with her. And so, you know, I get, I get what I'm supposed to get. That's all it is to it for me. It's simple. It's not that difficult for me. Yeah, I want to go back to what Anton said, right? She already got PJ in a bind with the baby 18 years. She got that locked down. Y'all don't give her enough credit in this situation, as far as I'm concerned. We and don't give her enough credit? That, what you mean? Yeah. Come on now. She got Charleston White. This guy got over a billion hashtags to his name, right? That's going to get the views. Just by that one interview alone, she already got about five interviews already set up. She already got 50 plus thousand just off that. So it's it's all business. It's all marketing. You got to understand behind the scenes what's what. And if you go back and listen to anything Charleston has ever said, Brittany Renner was always one of the ones on top of his list as far as women he would deal with. So it just kind of plays into everything. But this this something that's left out, though. Like, so a while ago, she did an interview saying that because people was like saying, like, she's using this dude for money da da da, And she was like, what you don't know is we got a solid deal where she only get like twenty five hundred a month from him. So I think that's what set it off is they saying, how do you feel about the $53 million contract mm-hmm. and you only getting twenty five hundred dollars Because there's a cap. Yeah. Yeah. So I think it's, that's what that caused them. Like, cause she was already drunk. And, you know, sometimes when you're drunk, whatever you got in the back of your mind going to come out. So I feel like that's what set her off. I don't, I, like, I, I, don't, I don't think it was a show. I think that was a moment. You know what I'm saying? Like you can't, we got, part of we got her, she's scared of the I'll, I'll, get, I'll say this. I'll say this. Part of her frustration is that she she you have to be able to you have to let people assume because there's certain things that she can't say. Hmm. She's bound by certain things that she can't say, right? And I'm not even talking about just with her baby daddy or whatever like that, right? Just about her life and certain guys in general. I'll, I'll give you all that much. It's certain things that she can't express or that she can't add context to because if she does, she's going to be in big fucking trouble, okay? So I'll, I'll let you have that. So it's easier for people to assume Probably and not, not get the full context versus, you know, her being able to express what it is that she really think about certain things or what's really going on behind the scenes. Well, there's, 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 people that, okay, there's people that's waiting on her to say certain things. Yeah, and she's, smart, and she's smart enough not to do that. I feel that. So what? She had a book, though, right? Did she go? Or she didn't that mention names him. in the book. Yeah, that was before and, him. And she ain't named nobody in that book. Not one person's name is in that book. Everybody in that book is an alias. Everybody in that book is an alias. Everyone. <laughs> 